me. I'm home. Oh, darling, my angel, my little pumpkin pie, I've missed you so much. Oh, what's this? Darling, did you open the champagne without me? <laughs> That's all right, my dear. I didn't expect you to wait for me. I've been gone for quite a while after all. Although, come to think of it, I don't actually know where. The last thing I remember is us celebrating our one week anniversary at that charming little Italian restaurant. You took my wine and you poured a strange little powder into it, which you said would enhance the flavor. Then we had some gelato and some cocktails. You kept looking at your watch and asking me how I was feeling. My sweet, sensible darling, you're always thinking of me. God, I love you. Love, love, love you. Come here. I've got to get my hands on you. Let me hold you. Darling, what's wrong? You look like you've seen a... Oh, my dear, I know what this is about. Please, please, there's no need to be embarrassed. You're upset about the toaster incident, aren't you? When you accidentally dropped it on me while I was in the bathtub? Honey, I told you these things happen. It's just a good thing I forgot to tell you that there was a power cut that day. Otherwise, you'd have yourself an extra crispy fried wife. <laughs> oh, my love, you look so pale. Is it something else? Uh, let me think. Ah, I know. It's about our trip to the National Park last week, wasn't it? Oh, I made such a scene when I almost fell into the alligator pit. Although I could have sworn someone tripped me. I'm sorry, darling. All I want is to make you happy. Utterly, deliriously happy. Just like you make me. Now get in these arms so I can give you kisses. Darling, darling, wait. I, s I need you. I need to hold you. Come back. I said come back. Darling, darling, I love you so much, but you make it difficult when you run away. Do you remember what Dr. Thorne said? One of the pillars of a strong marriage is communication. You need to talk about whatever's bothering you, hmm? Maybe you just need some time to adjust. Being married, living in a new house, I, I know it's a big change. If that's it, my dear, I'll buy you whatever you need to make this feel like your home. We can even get you another grand piano. I've been meaning to replace the one those movers you hired accidentally dropped on me. <laughs> Remember that, darling? Good thing I stopped to tie my shoes, huh? A few more steps and I've, I would have been flattened like a cartoon character. <sighs> Come on, my dear. Let me in. Let me in so I can hold you. I can't stand another second without you. Please let me in. I don't feel like myself. Since I got back from wherever I've been, something's felt different. I don't know what it is. I just know I need you. I can't stand it. Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> well, look at that. I don't remember being so strong. No matter where's my sweet, lovely, darling. Where are you? You know, my dear, it's the strangest thing. I seem to be decaying slightly. Oh. <laughs> Don't you know, my finger, I just snapped it off. 
clean as a cracker. How about that? You know what else, darling? Some things are coming back to me. I think I know where I've been after all. The things I've seen. God, the things I've seen, honey, I'd rather forget them. And the only way I can is by having you in my arms, so let me gather you in my arms and give you lots of kisses so I can escape these visions and feel alive again. I need you now. Oh, there you are. Oh, my love. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. No more running. So tired. You need to rest. We both do. And wouldn't luck have it that I know of a wonderful place to get some rest. A place where we can enjoy the deepest, most peaceful sleep together. I said don't struggle, my dear. My family mausoleum might seem a little uninviting, but I promise you'll never enjoy a more sound slumber. Perhaps that's why I awoke. I knew the only way I could rest peacefully was with you by my side. Come now, my dear. The grave awaits us. <laughs>